to Commitment 2024 now, and candidates for statewide political office have just one more day to file their campaigns at the Secretary of State's office. As WMUR political director Adam Sexton reports, Kelly Ayotte made her candidacy for governor official while highlighting her differences with her opponents. Kelly Ayotte drew a big crowd to the State House Thursday morning as she officially filed her candidacy for governor, saying the top issue in this campaign is keeping New Hampshire from charting a new political course. My opponents have a very different vision for the state, and they want to take us down a different path. Joyce Craig and Cindy Warmington, they think that the Massachusetts model is a better model than the path that Governor Sununu has us on no. right now. No. The former U.S. Senator has come under fire from Democrats on the issue of abortion. Ayotte says she will uphold state law and veto any attempts to add further restrictions. I will protect that law. I will not change it. And so they're misleading the women of New Hampshire right now mm -hmm. by making them think that there's going to be something else that will happen. Ayotte has also been the target of frequent attacks from Republican primary opponent Chuck Morse. Today, her supporters laughed at the idea she's not conservative enough. I've known Chuck a long time. And this is, it's a sad way for him to end his political career. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.